مو هو مازال في الفيديو خاطر هي هكا السيتين اوكي سو اي ويل ستارت وذ ذيس فيديو اوكي يو ويل واتش اند ذن اي ويل اكسبلين تبعوا مدام رجي فقط ما تمسوا الفيديو الشاشه نتاعكم كان كي تطرح عليكم هي السؤال الفيديو خليه يمشي عند مدام رجي لو بارتاج مدام رجي ولا اجوتي لو سون ا فوتر فيديو تو ستراكشر ا غراماتيكلي كوريكت به الصوت مسموع مدام ساره ولا هكا مسموع اي مسموع صافا عاودي There are eight parts of speech. Verb, noun, adjective, adverb, pronoun, interjection, conjunction, preposition. These allow us to structure a grammatically correct sentence as each has a different function within a sentence. verb a verb describes an action or experience for example run walk push eat sophie ran to school because she was late the verb in this sentence is ran john loves to bake cookies the verb in this sentence is bake noun a noun names a person place things or ideas for example house teacher cup shop my teacher is a very nice person the noun in this sentence is teacher Amy is going to go on holiday to China. There are two nouns in this sentence. The first noun is Amy because it's a person's name. The second noun is China because it is a, the name of a place. Adjective. An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. For example, short, beautiful red old fatima has a huge house with six bedrooms the adjective in this sentence is huge because they are describing fatima's house adverb an adverb describes a verb an adjective or an adverb the adverb tells us how often how where or when for example slowly yesterday always sophie is always late for school the adverb in this sentence is always it is also important to note that late is an adverb and an adjective last night I slept really well. The adverb in this sentence is last night. Pronoun. A pronoun is used to replace the name of a person, place, thing or idea in a sentence. For example, I, she, our, they, it. Becky is a very nice friend. She always helps me with my homework. The pronoun in this sentence is she. You can visit the shopping center at Okay, I would like to stop here for a few minutes to check if it is clear, okay? So, let's repeat. So, we have when I talk about the phrase in English 
what are the elements of phrase? First, we have the noun. For example, I say Jack, John, the family. OK, next we can find the pronoun. Instead of Jack, I use he. Instead of Susie, I use she. Instead of Jack and Susie, I use they. OK, also we have the verb in the sentence. The verb is a word which describes an action to run, to sleep, to eat, to dance, to talk. I want you here to give me the verb in this sentence. Becky is a very nice friend. She always helps me with my homework. You have two verbs. Could you write in the chat box, please? What is the verb in this sentence? I will give you a few minutes. So what are the verbs in the first sentence? Becky is a very nice friend. Yes. So I repeat, where are the verbs in the sentence? Becky is a very nice friend. She always helps me with my homework. Very good. Yes, the verb is. You have also helps. OK. Yes, Noor, the verb help. Yes, Buthaina, great, is. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Great. So let's continue now with the video. At one o'clock. The pronoun in this sentence is you. Interjection. An interjection is used to express strong emotion and is often followed by an exclamation mark. For example, wow or oh. Wow, the view is amazing. The interjection in this sentence is wow. Hey. I haven't seen you in a long time. The interjection in this sentence is hey. Conjunction. Conjunction is used to connect words, phrases or clauses in a sentence. For example, and, but, although, or. OK, I will stop here also to ask you a second question. So I repeat the information. So also you, ha you have two types, OK, of parts of speech. You have the interjection, OK, like wow, oh, and you have the conjunction. My question here is which one is used to join sentences? Which one? is used to join sentences. Is it the conjunction or the interjection? Which one is used to join the phrases? The conjunction or the interjection? Good, of course it is the conjunction. We use the conjunction to relate, to join two phrases. Great. I like to watch the television and eat popcorn. The conjunction in this sentence is and. My friend is very loud, whereas I am very quiet. The conjunction in this sentence 
is whereas. Preposition. Prepositions describe the place, time or direction. It is used before a noun or pronoun. For example, under, above, in, during. The cat jumped over the box. The preposition in this sentence is over. Get into the car quickly before we are late to school. The preposition in this sentence is into. Okay, so that's it for uh, the video. We will come back later to the same information. Don't worry. Okay, so here already I have an activity. So take a look at your screen. You will have a question. In the question, you will match the parts of speech with their functions or definition, okay? Match each part of speech with its, it, its definition. I will give you, if you want, five minutes to provide the answers. So I repeat the question. Match each part of speech with its definition. So I read if you want to help you. You have preposition, okay? Joins two words or phrases. Shows an action. Shows location in time. Pronoun. Describes a noun or pronoun, verb, noun, name of a person, place, thing or idea, adjective, conjunction, used in a place of a noun. I will help you, for example, with number one, preposition. What is a preposition? Okay. It is a word which shows location in time. Okay, I already have some answers from Aya, Mabruka, Buthaina, Haifa. Okay, good. So, let's check the answers. So, the noun. It is the name of a person, like I say, Jack, Susie. Name of a place, like I say, China, Italy. The name of a thing, like I say, McDonald, Pepsi, Gucci. Or idea, like I say, Islam, Judaism. Okay, I move to the verb. The verb shows an action. Run, read, eat, sleep, dance, write. Okay? The adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Beautiful, girl. Interesting, film. Funny, book. Nice, house. Okay, I move to the pronoun. The pronoun is used in place of a noun. I say Jack reads a book. He reads a book. Susie plays football. She plays football. The cat sleeps. It sleeps. Okay. The conjunction joins two words or phrases. I read and Listen. Okay. Preposition shows location in time. I eat breakfast in the morning. I watch cartoons in the evening. Okay. Great. 
Okay, now I will start with these elements. We will try to speak about each one of them. Let's first start with the noun. Okay, so here I have different types of nouns. I will not read all of them. Today, inshallah, we will only speak about the most easiest, the easiest one, okay, the simple ones. So, for example, I will talk about the common noun and proper noun. What is the difference? The common noun, it is about a person in general, a man, a woman, a boy, a girl. The proper noun is about a specific people. Susie is a specific girl. John is a specific boy. Alex is a specific dog and so on. OK, so I read if you want. Common noun, non-specific people, places, things or ideas. Example, table, book, window, friends. Proper noun, specific people, places, things. Example, John, Anna, London, Pacific Ocean. OK, I will not read both of them. You will have them in the video later. I move to the countable noun. What is a countable noun? It is a noun that can be counted. One pen, three pens. One orange, five oranges. One bike, three bikes. OK? I move to the uncountable noun. These are nouns that cannot be counted. Like bread, money, milk, food, water, snow, rice. OK, so I will stop here because all of them, as I said, we will uh, explain them, inshallah, in the following sessions. OK. I will start. Number one, with the common and the proper. So, as I said, common now for a person, the proper is Jack or Sarah. For the animal, Alex or Bill. For the place, Alabama, Turkey, Tunisia. For the thing, Barbie, McDonald, Pepsi, Coke, and for the idea. Okay. I want you now to focus on the video about common and proper nouns. Common and proper nouns. Let's recap. A noun is a person, place or thing. When thinking about nouns, it's important to know the difference between a common noun and a proper noun. Common nouns name any person, place or thing. They are general and not specific. They are not capitalised unless they come at the beginning of a sentence. For example, dog is a common noun as it's general and doesn't name a specific dog. Proper nouns, however, name something specific and should always be capitalised. For example, this is Rusty. Rusty is the name of a specific dog, so it's a proper noun and therefore we capitalise Rusty's name. Let's have another look at an example. Here is a teacher. Teacher is a common noun because it could be any teacher. Here is Miss Drought. This is a proper noun because we know it's a specific teacher. My teacher, Miss Drought. So we give it an uppercase letter. Country is a common noun because it is a place, but 
Does it name a specific place? No. However, if I were to say Australia, that's specific, so it's a proper noun and needs a capital letter. Boy is also a common noun. But if I were to name the boy, Paul, this would be a proper noun. So we would capitalize Paul. Store is a common noun. Walmart names a specific store. So it's a proper noun. If I were to say mother, that's another common noun. What's your mother's name or a name of a mother you know of? That would be a proper noun because you are naming the mother. Let's have one last go. Restaurant is a common noun. Can you name a specific restaurant that you've been to recently? If you name a restaurant, you need to make sure you capitalize it as this would be a proper noun. Now it's your turn. What proper and common nouns can you think of? Maybe read through a book and see how many you can find. Can you split them up into common and proper nouns? Okay, so this is the question for you. If you want, you give me some proper nouns in the chat. The names of your parents, mother, father, sister, best friend. Give it a try, please. So you write some proper nouns in the chat. Or if you want to speak, you raise your hand and speak. Okay, so time to play your game if you want. So you have two questions to climb. Okay, I already have Aya. Hi, Aya. Great. Shedley, good. Noor, yes. I'm waiting for the rest of you. Okay. Monia, okay. Yes, Mr. Mohammed, yes. Uh, Madame Roger, ouvrez votre uh, micro. Uh, oui, Madame Sarah, tu m'as fait? Oui, c'est bon, le micro était fermé. C'est pas grave. Ok, so I have 15 people who joined. Good. Gofran, hi. Ok. I have 16 people. Good. Keep coming, please. Okay, when you are ready, tell me to start. When you are ready, tell me to start. Madame. Good, I have 17. Good. Okay. So, as I said, you will have two questions. You must answer them to climb the mountain. You must answer two questions to climb the mountain. Okay. I have 18 people. Good. 19. Hi, Abir. Good. Hi, Sarah. So you choose your avatar and you join the game. You choose your avatar and you join 
the game. Hi, Ines. So 21, good. Still waiting for the rest. We have 40 people in the webinar. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, 22. So as I said, you have two questions. You must answer them to climb the mountain and win the game. Okay, so 23, shall we start? Madame Sarah, on commence, we'll understand the lady Mazeli how she should call a lobber. Je crois vous commencez et après, s'il euh, parvient donc à rejoindre, c'est bon parce que le temps passe. D'accord. OK, so we will start. So question one, which words in this list are proper nouns? We have two list, dog, bell, girl, Rat, man, mountain, spider man, volcano, Mexico, sugar, window, drink, variety, object, Arabic. Donc, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire 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 we still have two seconds and time is up. The second question, good. Yes, very good. So common nouns refer to specific things. They are usually capitalized. Is this true or false? Be careful, we have common nouns and proper nouns. So, common nouns refer to specific things. They are usually capitalized. True or false? So, you have one minute, 30 seconds to answer. One minute. 30 seconds to answer. You still have 33 seconds. 28 seconds. 21 seconds. Thirteen seconds. Five seconds. And time is up. Very good, very good. Great work for all of you. Very good. Okay. <coughs> I move now to the second part. I will talk about two other types of nouns. We have what we call countable. They can be counted. One dog, two dogs. 
One book, three books. They usually take an S in the plural. Dog, dogs. Boy, boys. Girl, girls. Toy, toys. And when I ask a question, I use how many? We will see that in the video later. For example, how many pans? How many books? How many toys? Okay, I move to the uncountable. They cannot be counted. For example, some chocolate. I cannot say two chocolates. No, it is false. I use some. Okay. They never take an S in the plural. Like I say, little help. Some water. Little money. And when I ask a question, I use how much. How much coffee? How much chocolate? How much cake? How much money? Okay. So you will watch the video. Countable and uncountable nouns. Most nouns in English are countable. We can put a number before them. They have singular and plural forms. One table, four tables. For example, there is one fridge in the room. There are four chairs. There are two lamps on the wall. Some nouns are uncountable. We cannot put a number before them. They have no plural form. Water. Some water. A little water. Much water. For example, there is some water in the jug. There is a little water in the glass. We do not use a or an before an uncountable noun. We use some before an uncountable noun. Some luggage, some paper, some furniture, etc. For example, Give me some cheese, please. There are ways to quantify an uncountable noun. We use measure words or counters to count the uncountable nouns. For example, two pieces of furniture. One glass of water, one box of cereal, two bars of soap. The words piece, glass, box, bar are countable nouns. We use such words to measure or count the quantity of an uncountable noun. Such words are also called measure words or counters. Okay, let me recap. So, the first part of the lesson, we are speaking about the elements of a phrase. Okay, so what do you have in the phrase? First, you have the noun. Okay. Second, you have the pronoun. 
third, you have the verb. Fourth, you have the adjective. Fifth, you have the adverb. And you have the preposition. Now, I am speaking about the noun. What are the types of nouns? Okay, you have common nouns, things in general, a boy, a cat, a book, a place. You have proper noun, Jack, Susie, McDonald. Okay, now I am speaking about countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns, it means the nouns that can be plural. One boy, three boys. One car, five cars. One house, six houses. Uncountable, they can't take an S. They never take an S. So, we use some. Okay? Some chocolate, some coffee, some money. Okay, so take a look at this picture in the first part in the blue color. You have countable nouns. Okay, so they will take an S. Three oranges. Okay, five eggs. Six books. Two dogs. Five boys. Six bananas. Three apples, two houses. I move to the second part in the yellow color. You have uncountable. So I cannot use a number. Okay. Some coffee. Some jelly. La confiture. Some chocolate. Some money. Some bread. Some juice, some milk. Okay. So we move now to another game. So you will fill in the blanks, okay, with the missing words. Behi بالنسبة للناس اللي ما نجمتش تدخل ها هو الفيو هذه ال خاطر تجيني كان معناتها الريبورت بالنسبة لل teacher's view. So this is the question that you will find. Okay. I read. So fill in the blanks. The paragraph is there is some in your cup, but there isn't coffee. There are also many. And bananas. You can choose what to eat. Also, there is cheese. I know that you like it with bread. We need eggs for lunch to prepare omelet. Don't forget to buy some. And these are the words. You have apples with S, any, some, many, milk. I will give you five minutes to finish the task. So I repeat, we use some with uncountable. There is no S. Many is used with S. Many books, many houses.
Okay, let me know. Have you finished answering the question? Okay. Yes. Great. So let's check. Good. So there is some milk in your cup, but there isn't any. Any is used with negative verb, isn't. Okay. There are also many apples and bananas. You can choose what to eat. Also, there is some cheese. I know that you like it with bread. We need many eggs. You see the S plural, many eggs for lunch. Very good. Okay, well done. So, now I will speak about another type of nouns. Okay, there is a difference between individual nouns and collective nouns. What is individual nouns? Okay, they refer to one person, thing, animal, or object. Collective nouns refer to a group of people or group of things or group of animals or group of objects. Okay, you will see the video. It's very simple. Collective nouns. Ricky and Nikki are at an animal farm. Look at the interesting banners they have come across at the farm. A herd of cows. A flock of birds. A swarm of flies. Some common nouns have a special name when they are in a group. A collective noun is a word used to name a group of people, animals or things. The words herd, flock, swarm are collective nouns used to refer to groups of cows, birds and flies respectively. Let us look at some more collective nouns. Pack is a collective noun which refers to a group of dogs. School is a collective noun which refers to a group of fish. Bunch is a collective noun which refers to a group of keys. Team is a collective noun which refers to a group of horses. Class is a collective noun which refers to a group of students. Troop is a collective noun which refers to a group of monkeys. A collective noun is singular in form even though it names anything which is two or more than two. For example, a set of tools, a bale of cotton, a deck of cards. Such group of words is called a noun phrase. Okay, so I will repeat what you have seen in the video, okay? Collective nouns, okay, are used for a group of things. Like I say, a swarm of flies. Serbon in Flock of birds. Herd of cows. Qatiyon min al Bunch of keys. Team of horses. Class of students, troop of monkeys. 
Okay. Uh, I will stop here. If anyone has a question, please raise your hand. If anyone has a question about all the lesson, please raise your hand and ask your question. I will stop for a few minutes. So maybe there are things that are difficult. Yes, if you have any question, please raise your hand. I am listening to you. Yes. Yes, are there any questions? مدام سارة تحب تشوفوا معاهم كان يحبوا يتوقفوا شوية كان فما أسئلة قبل ما نكمل البرزنتاسيون فما أيوب فما اسم آخر غير غير جو سي با يا دو بيرسون أوفري فوتر ميكرو إينيز نو نو إينيا بيرسون أون سو مومون Okay, okay, so I will continue. D'accord. So I move to another question. Nesli, ma najma tchto tchot najma taba mene hne, ha ha wa soel. D'accord, do? Will it khala se bo, yab dikhti ma la roh. So, fill in the blanks. Okay. I... نسكروا لي ميكرو بربي برشا حس في ال 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 عندكم سكروا لي ميكرو باش الناس الكل تنجم تتبع عايشك اوكي ثانك يو اي ريد نمبر 1 سو او اوف مانكيز نمبر 2 او اوف كاوز نمبر 3 او اوف بانز نمبر 4 E of ants. Number five. E of people. Number six. E of thieves. Number seven. E of dogs. And you have the collective words. Troop. Gang. Herd. Box. Pack. Crowd, colony. So five minutes, you write the answers. So I repeat. The collective words, troop, gang, herd, box, pack, crowd, colony. So I repeat, these are called collective nouns. They are used for a group of people, group of animals, group of things and you have the seven phrases here okay so what do we call the group of monkeys what do we call the group of cows what do we call the group of pans what do we call the group of ants what do we call the group of people what do we call the group of thieves? What do we call the group of dogs? Okay, who wants to speak, please? For the people who could not join the near pod, could you raise your hand and give me the answer, please? Yes. Yes. 
If you want to speak to give the answer, please raise your hand. Umayma, open your mic. <clears throat> I know a pack of dogs and a troop of monkeys. Very good. Perfect, Umayma. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Anyone else who wants to speak? Noor. Open your mic, Noor. Yes, Noor. The troop of cows. Uh, you repeat, please. The troop of cows. Uh, a troop of cows. Mm, we say a herd of cows. Oh my, my, okay, a herd of cows. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Miss? Mm -hmm. Yes? Um, I know uh, uh, a box of pants. Uh, you repeat? Mm -hmm. A box of pens. Very good. Well done. Yes, a box of pens. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay. Anyone else who wants to speak? Nejia yes. Amar. Yes, Mrs. Nejia. No, no, Miss Anabinta. Um, Aymarahba. Yes, Kamana. Ayub. Ayub. Yes, Ayub. Your mic. Madam Ines, father, can't help. Yes. Anur. Head of cows. <laughs> yes. A herd of cows. Good. Yes. A herd of cows. Very good. Uh, that's it. Or anyone else who wants to speak? Okay. Perfect. So I move to the answers. Thank you to all of you. So this is the answer. A troop of monkeys, a herd of cows, a box of pens, a colony of ants, a crowd of people, a gang of thieves, a pack of dogs. Okay, well done. Great. Okay, we finished with the nouns. Now I will talk, I will speak about the pronouns. Okay. So, similarly, you have different types of pronouns. Today, inshallah, I will only speak about personal pronouns. Next session, inshallah, we will talk about the remaining parts. Okay, so when I talk about the personal pronouns, we have two types. I want you to concentrate on the video. No pronouns. The words I, You, she, he, it, we, and they are personal pronouns. These pronouns replace a noun or nouns in the naming part of a sentence. For example, that man has a moustache. He has a moustache. 
the words me, you, her, him, us and them are also personal pronouns. These pronouns replace a noun or nouns in the telling part of a sentence. For example, the salesman happily sold the robot to the man and the woman. The salesman happily sold the robot to them. The pronouns you and it can be used anywhere in a sentence. You is used for both singular and plural nouns. For example, Ricky said, you are intelligent, Nikki. The coach said, I have faith in all of you. It is used for animals and inanimate things. For example, a woman walks with a dog. The dog has a bushy tail. A woman walks with a dog. It has a bushy tail. The woman gives the dog a basket. The dog carries the basket. The woman gives the dog a basket. The dog carries it. Okay, so I repeat what you saw in the video, okay? When I talk about the pronouns, we have what we call subject pronouns. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. They refer to nouns. I, the speaker, Ms. Rajay. You, I am talking to you. She, I am talking about a girl, Susie, he, a boy, Jack, it, an animal, the cat, we, I and my sister, they, Jack and John, right? Okay, there is another list of pronouns which are called object pronoun, okay? We will see them if you want later. Here in the picture, follow with me, please. So I was speaking about the subject pronoun. Okay, with the pink color. Usually they are at the beginning of the phrase. That's why they are subject. Also, I have another type which is found at the end of the phrase. We call them object pronouns. I will give you examples for each one. You give the book to Ms. Rajay. You give the book to me. I don't say to I. Okay? I give the present to you. I give the pen to John. I give the pen to him, not to he. I give the ball to Susie. I give the ball to her. I give the milk to the cat. I give the milk to it. You give the cake to me and my sister. You give the cake to us. I give the book to the children. I give the, the book to them. Okay. You, of course, it is used for the singular. I am speaking to one person or the plural. I am speaking to many people. Okay. So I will stop here. The remaining parts, inshallah, for the next session so let's repeat this is the list of the subject pronouns okay i 
You, she, he, it, we, they. What you find after that in the phrase? You must have a verb. I read. You play. She listens. He dances. It jumps. We watch. They run. You see? And I have the last type at the end of the table, the third color. We call them object pronouns. You have them at the end of the sentence. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Okay. So, let's move to another question. You have seven minutes to answer. So, I read. What are the pronouns used with is? When I have the verb is, what are the pronouns? And what are the pronouns used with are? Of course, you have the list of the subject pronouns. I, you, she, he, it, we, they. Okay, so you have six minutes to give me the answer. I repeat, what are the pronouns used with is for? Verb to be in the present simple. And what are the pronouns used with are? So you still have six minutes to give me the answer. Good, Mabruka is already typing her answer. Very good, yes. Okay, waiting for the rest of you. Great, yes, Noor, Sonia. Okay, great, yes. So I repeat, what are the pronouns used with is for? What are the pronouns used with are for? Of course, I'm speaking about the verb to be in the present simple. Does anyone want to speak in the audience who could not join the near part? Raise your hands, please, if you want to participate. Yes. We have Umaima. Yes, Umaima, go ahead. We use is with he, she, it, and are with they, we, you. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, Umaima. You're welcome. Okay, great. So. Ritesh. Yes, Ritesh. And yeah. uh, you use uh, are with the we and the they. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Not at all. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Anyone? Yeah. We have Sarah. Sarah. Also. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sarah. We use. Are with uh, you, um, you, uh, you, we, they. Very good, Sarah. Thank you. Great. Yes. Not at all. So you still have three minutes to write your answers. Anyone else who wants to participate? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Rajaya, we have um, Nede in the chat. Yes. She, uh, uh, she says uh, she didn't understand. I don't know. Uh, yes, What's Nede, if, if she wants, she can speak. Yes, Nede. You didn't understand what? The pronouns or all the lesson or which part? You can speak if you want, Nadea. You raise your hand and you speak. If you want, yes. 
Okay, so I think that's it for this activity. So I repeat Nadea, maybe she's talking about this question. I have the verb to be. I am, you are, she is, he is, it is, we are, they are. The question was about the pronouns. What are the pronouns? The list I already mentioned. I, you, she, he, et, we, and they. So this is the question I, I think she is asking about that part. If you want to talk, Nede, be my guest. Yes. Nejia okay. wants to, uh, to answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, Nejia. Um, on use is for uh, he, she, it, and we uh, use are for we and uh, you. Very good. What is your name? My name is Lina. Lina, thank you. Very good, Lina. Thank you. You're okay. Welcome. Thanks. Right. So I move to another question. I think this is another question. Yes. كي العاده باش نوري كيفاش تظهر للعباد اللي ما نجموش يلتحقوا بالنير بات والاخرين هانو عندكم سؤال ها باش نقرا تبعوا معايا وتكتبوا الاجابات كي العاده نراجعوا شويه البرونو اوكي سو فيل ان ذا بلانكس يس ميس ساره قبل ما تبدا بالله اللي ما يفهمش حاجه يقول اون اي لا بور كومبوند انا سي با بور فير اون سيرتين بريزونطاسيون اي باسي اللي ما يفهمش يتكلم يقول جي با كومبري عاود لي اللي لا بو فور بو ريبوند ا فو كيستيون تقعدوش كيك في الشات جي با كومبري ما فهمت حتى شيء كيسك كيسك ال فو دير وانا تقعد فريستري معنا اي سي دو فماش حنا تكون هنا جاي نتعلموا حتى حد ما يحشم الحد دونك بوزي فوتر كيستيون ولا على الاقل اتيو ا بريسيزيون كيسك فو نافي با كومبري معناها نون فيرب برونون Pour qu'elle puisse manière, répondre à vos questions, manière, des questions ciblées, manière, des réponses ciblées. D'accord Donc, Nadé, madame, je ne sais pas, ce n'est pas grave. Là. Fadé, madame, j'ai pardonné moi. Il est là, je madame Sarah, qui m'a calmé comme ça, il a dit que je ne sais pas, 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 je ne sais ما نخليش روحي ما نفهمش والحصه الجاي معناتها زيد ندخل بعضي لا يلزمني الحصه هذه نفهم بالك دي خاطر فما حاجات باش تبقى تتبع فينا اوكي ماشي اول رايت سو اي اي ريد ذا كويستشن سو فيل ان ذا بلانكس دو يو نو ذات مان سو هير مان از ذا ناون اي ويل يوز ا برونون دو يو نو هيم اوكي هيم Because it is an object at the end of the sentence. عطيتكم الإجابة الأولى فسرت لكم وتخدموا نفس الخدمة. تكوردو؟ Okay. Number two. My friend and I have money. What is the pronoun for my friend and I? Can go shopping. Number three. Robert and Mark are late. The pronoun for Robert and Mark. What is it? Should hurry. Number four, she gave a birthday gift. Okay, I really like the birthday gift. So what are the pronouns? Number five, elephants are very big. So elephants eat a lot of food. What is the pronoun for elephants? My brother is studying Because my brother, what is the pronoun, has a test tomorrow. Do you feel okay? Can I help the person I am speaking to? What is the pronoun? Number eight. My new neighbors are very friendly. I really like my neighbors. So what is the pronoun for neighbors? I need to find my book. Where did you put the book? 
What is the pronoun for the book? I read the list of the pronouns, okay? It, him, you, them, he, me, we, it, and you have double time, I think, they. So five minutes if you want, you write your answers. So I repeat the list of pronouns, it, him, you, them, he, me, we, it, and you have they. So the pronoun refers to a noun, like I say Jack, he, Susie, she, if you have them at the end of the sentence, you will, of course, change. You will use object pronoun. I read the list again of the object pronouns. You have me, you, her, him, it, us, and them. These mm -hmm, are found at the end of the phrase. Mrs. Roger, do you want to take some uh, answers? Yes, please. If there are yes. anyone who would like to speak, come on. Uh, we have uh, Mohaz. Uh, yes. Open your mind, please. Mohaz. Umayla. Mohaz, yes. My friend and I. We start with Mohan. Mohan, tell me. Yes, Mohan. We will say pronoun. Okay, Umayma. Uh, my friend and I have money. We can go shopping. Yes, very good. We great, Omaima. Yes, thank you. Yes. Lina. You're welcome. Lina. Yes, um, Lina. Robert and uh, Robert and Mark are late. They uh, showed her story. Very good, Lina. Well done. They very good. Yes, thanks. Noor. Yes, Noor. Noor, Harbawi. She gave me a birthday gift. I really like it. Very good. I really mm -hmm. like it. Uh, uh, you are reading number eight? Wait, Noor, number eight? No, number four. Number four. She gave me a birthday gift. I really like it. Very good, perfect. She gave me, I really like it. Very good, thank you, Noor. Great. Sarah? Yes, Sarah? Number five. Elephants are very big, so it eat, it, it eats a lot of food. Uh, okay, Sarah, usually for uh, the animal we use it, but here you have elephants with S in the plural, okay? So, if it is in the plural, we use they, okay? Cows, cats, yes. dogs, yeah. Like mm -hmm. Ritesh? Yes, Ritesh. My brother is studying because he has text to, a test tomorrow. Very good, because he. Thank you. You're welcome. Noor. Harbawi, again. Yes, Noor. Okay. Uh, Habib Haddad. <laughs> Habib. Yes. I need. 
I need to uh, find my book. Do you, uh, do you feel, uh, okay? Can I help you? Very good. Can I help you? Thank you. Maria. Yes, Maria. Maria, she has a... Okay. Maria, open your mic. Yes, Maria, open your mic, please. Okay, Ines. Ines. Nede, what's the name? Um, uh, I need to find my book. Where did you put it? Very good, Mohammed. Yes, put it. Good, thank you. Mohammed, where is the problem? What do you not understand? What are the things that you feel مازلت ماكش من مرتاح لهم لك ديما ماكش فاهمه مليح خلي مدام رجاي تفهمهم لك آه لا مدام حد الان ما فهم شيء ليك لوكي لبنى شيت يس لبنى ذاتس ات فور دي بارتيسيبانتس يس جو كرو كون اتيرميني توت لي فراز هيك ولا يس اي Let's check the answers. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Okay, à la prochaine. Donc, uh... So, these are the answers. Okay, so do you know that man? Do you know him? Okay, my friend and I have money. We can go shopping. Robert and Mark are late. They should hurry. She gave me a birthday gift. I really like it. Elephants are very big, so they eat a lot of food. Uh, as I said to Lina earlier, so if you have an, uh, an animal, you use it. But if you have plural with S, you use they. Cats, dogs, chicken, elephants, tigers, giraffes, okay? My brother is studying because he has a test tomorrow. Do you feel okay? Can I help you? My new neighbors, neighbors with S, so plural, are very friendly. I really like them. I need to find my book. Where did you put it? So the book, it's an object. I use it. Thank you to all of you. Okay, so uh, let me check here. Would you like to approve? Yes. B. خلينا نشوفو توا نحبسو شوية هنا ونشوفو شنو فهمنا. Donc, la question هذه المطلوبة منكم. Write down any pronoun that you still remember. And identify whether it's possessive, reflexive, object. Bon, just today we saw the object and subject. I'm not going to tell you about the others. Don't let's see them. So, if you remember them, write them here. And you click here and write them. And you see what they write. They write 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 what they write. تيتشر وين نزلو باش نكتب؟ في ليسباس البلون هذيك تجيك ليسباس البلون هاي كيما هكا ثانكس تيتشر ماي بلاجر بالنسبة للي ما دخلوش هاي معناتها خاطر ديما باش نخدمو بيهم في الحصص الجاي نفس الخدمة إن شاء الله تجي هنا وتكتب مثلا شي ولا باش تعمل أنت وتعمل بوست فوالا في أون أكسيبت إيسي فوالا أنا ديجا شكون كتب سي بيان Voilà. Very good. Yes. So, what are the pronouns that you still remember? Shnir Hajit, Libkat, Fimurkum, Al-Pronoun. 
what are the pronouns and are they subject or object okay so i have six answers good yes great uh -huh. yes i think no uh, want to uh, to answer Yes, Noor, go ahead, yes. Noor? Yes, Noor. Yes, Noor. Yes, good. You have she, he, thank you, Muhammad. You have they, thank you, Ines. You have she, they, it, we, them. Thank you, Monia. Mm -hmm. You have you, Umayma. she. Yes, Omaima, go on. Uh, we have me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. It is object pronouns. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Yes, okay. Yes, me, myself, reflexive pronoun, good. Mm -hmm. Latifa, they, good. Mm -hmm. What are you, she, he, good. Very good. Thank you to all of you. Excellent. Okay. دونك هذه نخدموا بها ديما نحبسوا شويه ونشوفوا رواحنا شنو بقينا متفكرين بون اليوم عملناها سامبل برشا المره الجايه نبدو معناتها كل مره نزيدوا حاجه باش نشوفوا رواحنا شنو بقينا نفهموا خاطر فما دي بوان باش تبقى تتبع فينا في الحصص الكل اوكي يعطيكم الف صحه الناس الكل سي في بيان جريت اوكي سو ناو اي ويل سبيك اباوت ذا فيربس اوكي so, I will start with the first, the easiest, the simplest verb, which is to be. In English, to be is a verb used for description, to describe. I am hungry. She is beautiful. He is happy. You see? So, it is usually used to describe. So, I read here, we will start today with the present. So, you have the pronouns, I, okay, you, he, she, it, and you have the verb, I am, for example, I am a pupil, I am a teacher, you are, you are happy, you are tired, he, I talk about a boy, a man, okay? He is hungry. He is absent. She, I talk about a woman or a girl. She is happy. She is late. It, I talk about a place. For example, the city, the house, the room. It is big. It is small. Okay, now I move to the pronouns of the plural. We, you, they. Okay, these are used for the plural. We are happy. You are late. They are hungry. Jim and Anne are tired. The cities are large. Okay, today I will only talk about the present. I will not speak about the past. Uh, next uh, session, inshallah, we will see other tenses. Okay. So, I move to the second verb, to do. To do is a verb which describes an action. Okay. I do the shopping. I do the housework. I do the homework. You see? I do the exercise, I do the activity. So you have with the pronoun, I do, you do, 
be careful with he, she, it, the verb takes an S. He does, not he do, okay? He does, she does, it does. We do, you do, they do, okay? And I will finish with the last verb for today, which is have. The verb have describes the possession. What do you possess? I have money. I have a cat. I have a car. So these are my possessions. What I possess. Okay. So I have. You have. For he it becomes has with S. Be careful. He has. She has. It has. We have and they have. Right? Okay. So, I will move to a small activity, a simple exercise about these verbs. Kif kif li ma andouch hanou tabba fil students view. Okay. عندنا فقرة صغيرة باش نحطو فيها الفيربس، أوكي؟ okay. So fill in the blanks. I read the short paragraph. Seven years old. I got one brother and one sister. They older. He eight and she's ten. My mom is a doctor. My dad, a doctor. He's a teacher. Be careful here. So he is a teacher. So of course, he's not a doctor. Okay. We are very happy because it's Saturday and we at school. So on Saturday, do you go to school or no? Okay. So. And I read the verbs. You have have, I'm, isn't, is, are, aren't. Be, خان فهمو شوية negative. احنا ما تحبين نشنو دخلو فيه أما استيون obligation بش بش نفهمو. So the negative, I use not. For example, I am not a pupil. I'm a teacher. Okay. I am not. You are not a teacher. You are a pupil. She is not a teacher. They are not at home. Okay. Of course, here you have what we call the short form. Is not becomes isn't. Are not becomes aren't. Have not becomes haven't so in english we call this contraction okay or short form i am becomes i'm she is becomes she's apostrophe s they are becomes the their apostrophe r e so i will give you if you want five minutes to write the answers. As usual, if there are anyone who wants to speak, please raise your hand. We have Ritesh. Yes, Ritesh. I'm seven years old. I've got one brother and one sister. They are older. He is eight and she's ten. My mother is a doctor. My dad is, isn't a doctor. He is a teacher. We are very happy because it's Saturday and we, we, are, we aren't at school. Very good, Ritesh. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Sarah? I am seven years old. 
I have got one brother and one sister. They are older. He is eight and she is ten. My mom is a doctor. My dad isn't a doctor. He is a teacher. We are very happy because it's Saturday and it uh, in, we aren't at school. Very good, Hela. Thank you. Noor. Yes, Noor. I am seven years old. I have got one brother and one sister. They are older. He's eight and she's ten. My mom is a doctor. My dad isn't a doctor. He's a teacher. We are very happy because it's it's Saturday and we are at school. Very good. Thank you. Noor. Anwar, Ella Bali? No, Anwar, Anwar, Pluto. Anwar, yes. I'm, I'm seven years old. I have got, a, got one brother and one sister. They are older. He is eight and she's ten. My, my mom is a doctor. My dad isn't a doctor. He, he's Ah, uh, teacher, we are very happy because, because it's Saturday and we aren't at school. Very so good, Anwar. Thank you. So cute. Yes, so, so cute, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anwar. Mad. Mad. My name is Ole. I am seven years old. I have got uh, one brother and uh, one sister. Uh, they are older. He is eight and she is ten. My mom is a doctor. My dad uh, isn't a doctor. He is a teacher. We are very happy because it's Saturday and we, uh, we aren't uh, at school. Very good, thank you. Lina. Yes, Lina. Um, I'm, uh, I'm seven years old. I have got one brother and one sister. They are older. Uh, he is eight and she is 10. My name, uh, my mom is uh, a doctor. My dad, it isn't a doctor. Uh, he is a teacher. We, uh, we uh, are very happy because it's Saturday and we aren't at school. Very good, Lena, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. I think it's, that's all. Yes, thank you to all of you. Okay. Well, so I move now to the fourth element, which is adjectives. So we will now speak about the adjectives. So I will speak only about two things today. In English, we have two types of adjectives. We have short adjectives and long adjectives. What is a short adjective? It is an adjective composed of one syllable. When I speak, it is pronounced in one part. Example, short, big, long, nice, fat, large, huge, small. Okay. I move now to the long adjective. So it is composed of two or more syllables. When I speak, it is composed of two or three or four parts. For example, beautiful. You see, it's not one part. It is three parts. Beautiful. Expensive. Boring. You see, so here I have two or three parts. We call this a long adjective. Uh, can anyone give me a short or long adjective, please? You raise your hands if you want to participate. Give me an example of long or short adjective. Yes. Go ahead. 
So the short adjective, just one syllable. Yeah. Tall is a short adjective. Very good. Tall. Thank you. Yes. Lina. Mm -hmm. Lina. Friendly, it's a long adjective. Very good. Friendly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No. Noor. No. Yes. This film is boring. Boring is a long adjective. Good. Boring is a long adjective. Yes. Sarah? Yes, Sarah? It's a short adjective. Good. Yes. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Abrar? Okay. Yes, Abrar? Open your mind. Fat is a short adjective. Good, fat is a short adjective. Good, yes, thanks. Ritesh? Yes, Ritesh. Slim is a short adjective. Very good, slim is a short adjective. Thank you, yes. Okay. That's Anyone all. else? Uh, that's it, Mrs. Sarah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, I will move now to another question, okay? Match the blanks with the adjectives or adverbs that relates to the bolded word. Please, before you start, let me uh, explain, if you want, the adverb. So, let's repeat. What is an adjective? The adjective describes the noun. Beautiful girl. Big house nice film okay and i have other types of words which are called adverb the adverb describes the manner i ask the question how okay for example i say i speak quickly okay i speak quickly quickly is the adjective okay so here, in this question, you will match the blank with the adjective or the adverb. So, I read here. My sister wakes up. So, wakes up is a verb. Usually, after the verb, I need adverb. After the noun, I need an adjective. I repeat. After the verb, I need adverb. After the noun, I need an adjective. The adverb is the one who is in the place, the time, and the time. We have in Arabic. It's not in English. It's in the adverb. It gives us the situation. Okay? And the adjective is the one who 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 is the and you have here the adjective beautiful. The mouse was very. How do you describe the mouse? Okay, is it big or small? The boy rides his bike. How? I need an adverb. You have loudly, early, carefully. The apple was. Here, I will describe the apple. I need an adjective. The girl snores. Snores is the sound that you make when you are sleeping. When people are sleeping, they are making this noise. They are snoring. Okay. Shiny. It is an adjective. It is a day outside. And you have the last word, which is small. I repeat, when you have a verb, you need adverb. I speak loudly. My father drives quickly. She writes carefully. And when I have a noun, I need an adjective, a small, house, a big 
movie, a nice film, a tiny monkey. Okay. Would you like so, to take some answer? Uh, shall I give them some answers? Yes. No, they uh, they want to to answer so. Ah, if if there are anyone uh, who wants to participate, yes, yes, please. Yes, Lina. Um, the apple was shiny. Very good, Lina. The apple was shiny. This is an adjective. Good. Mm. Yes, thank you. Omaima. My sister wakes up early. Very good. My sister wakes up early. Thank you. Noor. My pleasure. The, bo the boy reads his bike carefully. Yeah. Very boy good. Rides. Yes. The boy rides his bike carefully. Very good. Thank you. What? What? The mouse was very small. Very good. The mouse was very small. Thank you. Malik. Malik Amar. It, it is a, be a beautiful day outside. Good, very good. It is a beautiful day outside. Yes, thank you. Omina. Uh, we can uh, say the girl snores loudly. Very good, yes. The girl snores how? Loudly. Very good, yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Okay. Anur? Yes, Anwar. Okay. Okay. Uh, boy, read she big. His bike, careful. Careful. Yes, thank you. Very good. The boy rides his bike carefully. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lena. That's it. That's it, I think, for the uh, yeah. answers. Thank you to all of them. Thank you very much. Yes. OK, so. Mm -hmm. OK, so I move. Number five. Sorry, let me check. I think I skip it. So no, that's it. It's OK, so now I move to the adverbs. We will talk, okay? We will speak about the adverbs, okay? So, as I said earlier, the adverb describes a verb. I want you to watch this video carefully. So this video will talk about adverbs. Uh, be he be معايا معناته اللي حتى اللي مش ما نعرفش ما حبش يخد منا لحد أن سنتبتو. بربي ما نخلصوش. نتبعوا بركة ما نقرسوش خاطر فما شكون بقي يعمل في معناتها الأكسي من عنده. Nikki is telling Ricky about words that describe an action verb. For example, I eat my dinner quickly. Here, quickly tells us how the action happens. That is, quickly describes the action word eight. Another example. 
Sam sees many puppies outside. In this example, outside tells us where the action happens. That is, outside describes the action word sees. Let us look at one more example. My father came home early. Here early tells us when the action happens. That is, early describes the action word came. An adverb is a word that tells something more about a verb. An adverb tells how, where or when an action happens. The words daily, somewhere, quickly, everywhere, calmly, regularly, nowhere, freely, silently, near, soon, etc. are adverbs. An adverb never describes a noun or a pronoun. Ricky often gets confused between adverbs and adjectives. Nikki tells him to remember the following. Adverbs describe verbs. Adjectives describe nouns. An adverb never describes a noun. For example, I ate a heavy meal. Here, the word heavy describes the noun meal. Sometimes, we add ly to an adjective to get an adverb. The dress is elegant. Here, elegant, an adjective, describes the dress, which is a noun. She dresses elegantly. An adverb describes the verb dresses. به يظهر لي الفيديو يفسر بالكدا بالكدا الفرق ما بين الادفرب والادجكتيف اذا فما اسئله قبل ما نتعدى على البارتي هذه تفضلوا is there any question about adverbs and adjectives you raise your hands please yes if no we will have another question uh -huh. is there any questions about Adjectives and adverbs. Yeah. No. No. Okay. So I will move to a small activity to check if it is uh, understood. Okay. Fill in the blanks. I read so four sentences. Mr. John plays tennis, and you will finish with the missing word. Number two. She speaks. How? I need an adverb. Number three, we run. Also, I need an adverb, okay? Number four, Susie goes to the gym. And at the bottom of the page, you will have the options. So here I have a list of adverbs because here I have the verb. Usually after the verb, I need an adverb. I have every day, I have loudly, I have well, it means good, okay, and I have fast, it means quickly. I repeat, you have every day, I have loudly, I have well, which means good, and I have fast, which means quickly. Yes, Mrs. Sarah, if there are anyone who would like to speak, be my guest. Okay. We have Sarah. Yes, Sarah, go ahead.
Yes. Belek. Tom plays tennis well. Very good. Yes. He plays tennis well. Very good. Thank you. Malik. Yes, Malik. She speaks loudly. Very good, Malik. She speaks loudly. Good. Thank you. Lina. Yes, Lina. Uh, we run fast. Very good, Lina. We run fast. Good. Thank you. Umaima. Yes, Umaima. Susie goes to the gym every day. Very good. Susie goes to the gym every day. Thank you, Umaima. Good. Maram. Yes, Maram. Uh, Noor. Yes. Noor, we, uh, Susie goes to the gym every day. Good. Very good. Yes. Every day. Thank you, Noor. Yes. Mohav. Yes, Mohav. Mr. John plays tennis wheel. Good. She speaks slowly. We run yeah. fast. Susie goes to the gym every day. Very good, Moa. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Ines. Ines, go ahead. Yes. Yes, Ines. Aya. Yes, Aya. Mr. John plays tennis well. Good. She Very speak. good. She speaks loud lie. We run fast. Susie goes to the game every day. To the gym. Very good. Yes, every day. Good. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I think that's it for the answers, Mrs. Sarah. Yes. Thank you to yes. all of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here are the answers. Okay. Sorry. So, as you said, Mr. John plays tennis well. She speaks loudly. We run fast. Susie goes to the gym every day. Thank you to all of you. Great work. OK, I move now to number six, the element number six, which is prepositions. OK, so let's start with some pictures. OK. So here, take a look at picture number one of the banana. So where is the banana? The banana is in the box. OK, in. Take a look at picture number two, the dog. Where is the dog? The dog is under. I move to the third picture. Where is the boy? The boy is in the front of the tree, in front of the tree. I move to the next picture. Where is the book? The, the book is on the table, okay? And the last picture, where is the banana? The banana is in between the boxes. The banana is in between the boxes, okay? Take a look at the second picture. OK, so where is the apple? The first one, OK, on the left. The, the apple is on the box. On the box. Next, where is the apple? The apple is in the box. The apple is in the box. Number three, where is the apple? The apple is next to the box ou bien, or beside the box. I move to picture number four. Where is the apple? The apple is in front of the box. In front of the box. Picture number five. Where is the apple? The apple is behind the box. The apple is behind the box. I move to picture number six. Where is the apple? 
the apple is between the boxes. The apple is between the boxes. Next picture. Where is the apple? The apple is under the box. The apple is under the box. Next picture. Where is the apple? The apple is through. It's not in, but it is through. Abra. Okay, it is through the box. And the last picture. Where are the apples? The apples are around the box. The apples are around the box. Okay, I want you now to see this video. Okay. Hello, friends. Today we're going to learn words that tell us where things are. Our friend Chester will help us. Where is Chester? Chester is in the box. He's in it. The cat is in the box. And now, where is Chester? Chester is in front of the box. He's in the front. The cat is in front of the box. Where is Chester? Chester is next to the box. He's next to it. The cat is next to the box. Where is Chester now? Chester is under the box. He's under it. The cat is under the box. Where is Chester? Chester is on top of the box. He's on top of it. The cat is on top of the box. Where is Chester? Chester is between the boxes. He's between them. The cat is between the boxes. In the box. In front of the box. Next to the box. Under the box. On top of the box. Between the boxes. Let's see how you'll be getting out of there, Chester. See you around. Okay, so I think the video was very simple, very easy. I will move now to a question, okay? To check if it is okay for the prepositions. So. Kif kif, ili ma tkhal shahab shi tabba maana fil student's view. Kif kif. Okay, I read the question. Match the preposition with the sentence it belongs in. Okay, I read. You have out, in, with, of, double F, it means to finish something, of, by, for, from, to, on. Now I read the sentences. We are going the movies today. We set the lake. She ate lunch me. Take your shoes before you come inside. Get off my house. The child put the hat his head. The car is in front the house. Put the apple the bag. I'm going a walk. I just got home work. So five minutes you try to put the preposition in the correct sentence. Okay. The correct place of the sentences. So I repeat the list of prepositions. 
you have out to get out okay you have in in the house in the box with usually with the person i play with my sister off get off of the house okay you have off with one f okay you have by you have for you have from i come from school you have to i go to school and you have on i put my mobile on the table i put my watch on the table okay so uh, similarly mrs sarah if there are anyone who wants to participate be my guest please yes we have malik yes malik go ahead Yes, Malik. The child put, put the hat on his head. Very good. On his head. Very good. Thank you. Yes. The child put the hat on his head. Yes. Umayma. The car is in front of the house. Very good, Umayma. The car is in front of the house with one F. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Lina. Lina, go ahead. Um, I just go home work. Uh, I just go home from work. Very good, Lina. I just got home from work. Very good. Thank you. Noor. Yes, Noor, please. She at lunch with me. She ate lunch with me. Very good. Yes, no, thank you. Good. Yes. Moaz. Yes, Moaz. She ate lunch with me. Good, Moaz. Very good. Yes, she ate lunch with me. Good. Thank you. Yes. Abrar. Yes, Abrar. We are going to the movies today. We are going to the movies. Very good. Yes, thank you. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Umayma. Yes, Umayma. Uh, I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a walk. Very good. Thank you. Yes. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Lena again. Yes, Lena. Come on. Um, take your shoes off before you come inside. Very good. Take your shoes off. Yes, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Malik. You're welcome. Thank you. Malik. We sat by the lake. Mm -hmm. By the lake. Very good. Thank you. Yes, we said by the lake. Very good. Thank you. Noor. Yes, Noor. Abir. Yes, Abir. Mm -hmm. your, yes. Your mic, Abir. Yes, Abir. Yes, Abir. Umayma. Put the apple in the bag. Very good. Put the apple in the bag. Thank you. Yes. Muaz. My pleasure. Muaz. Yes, Muaz. Put okay. the apple in the bag. Yes, to put the apple in the bag. Good, very good. Thank you. Yes. Noor. Mm -hmm. Yes, Noor. 
Get out of my house. Very good. Get off of my house. Thank you. That's good. Lina. The yes, car me. is in front of the house. Good. The car is in front of the house. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Lina. Malik. You're welcome. Miss. Thank you. Malik. Yes, Malik. Yeah. I just got home from work. Good. Very good. I just got home from work. Yes, good. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it, Mrs. Sarah, for the answers. Yeah. Yes. yes thank you. Thanks to all of them. Yes. So, I move to another question. Okay. So, هذه ريفيزيون اللي من الكل ما تعرفش شوفوا روحي حنا توا اسكو فهمنا سافا بالكدا قبل ما نعدوا بوتي تيست ديما في اخر حق الحصه باش يبدا في بالكم علاش كي ما تفهمش تسال مره واثنين وثلاثه خاطر عندك بوتي تيست تعدي في اخر الحصه ومع بعد سته سبع حصص ان شاء الله تنجم تاخذ الشهاده نتاعك بي خلينا نشوفوا روحي حنا احنا شو فهمنا في حصه اليوم ترا عندنا هنا بوتي uh, كيستيون ماتش ذا وورد وذ ذا ديفينيشن اور اكزامبل اوكي So here, for example, here I have the pronoun example. You give me the example or the definition. What is the definition of the noun? Okay, so I read a word that can be used to replace a noun. What is the word that replaces a noun? What do we call it? Okay, a word that usually comes before a noun or a pronoun in English. What do you have? before the noun okay next you will give me some examples of pronouns okay some examples of nouns okay preposition what is a preposition here you have an example teacher desk food dog what is this these are examples of what Next, you will give me preposition, examples of preposition. Okay. Next, you have I, you, she, he, we, and it. What are these? Examples of what? Next, you have to, from, in, out, on, off, for, of, one F, by, with. These are examples of what? Next, you have pronoun, noun, and the last card, you have a word describing a person, a place, or thing. What do we call that? The word that describes a person, a place, or thing. What do you call that? So, if you want to answer, as usual, raise your hands, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lina. Yes, pronoun example. Uh, pronoun example. I, you, she, he, we, it. Very good, Lina. These are the examples of pronoun. Excellent. Thank you. Moaz. Yes, Moaz. Noun example. Teacher, desk, food, dog. Very good, Moaz. These are the noun examples. Teacher, desk, food, dog. Very good. Yes. Malik. Yes, Malik. Yes, Malik. A word that uh, that can be used to replace a noun, pronoun. Very good, Malik. The word that replaces a noun is a pronoun. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Umayma. Mm -hmm. Yes, Umayma. Oh, well. A word that usually comes before a noun or pronoun. It is a preposition. Good. So the word that comes before a noun, it is a, a preposition. Preposition. Yes. yes. Thank no. you. Pronoun examples. I, you, she, he, we, it. 
Mm -hmm. Pronoun examples are you, she, he, we, and it. Good, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, I yes. think that's it for the answers, Mrs. Sarah. I think that's it for the answers. Well okay. done to all of them. Great. So. Uh, I will finish with a small uh, quiz, as I said earlier. OK. So question number one. Uh, tick the correct answer. What are the different types of speech of a sentence? The phrase is composed of what? شفنا احنا توا الحصه كامله اليوم على مكونات الجمله. دونك شنو هي مكونات الجمله؟ باش تختاروا هنا تيك على لي زيليمون اللي يكونوا صحيح الكل. سافا تشوفوا في البارتاج كلكو سوا اللي مازال في النير بود والا ما تخلش الناس الكل تشوف فيها الباج هذي ولا نتاع الليرني اب. يس؟ لا Ok. Il y a le partage normalement, mais il y a un problème de connexion, donc il va être un peu. Ok. Yes. So I repeat the question. So tick the correct answer. Donc je t'amène à la métique, à l'ijabet, il y est passé à siha. Donc what are the different types of speech of a sentence? If you want to uh, answer orally, yes. If you want to speak, yes. Who would like to give the answer? Yes. Abrar. We have abrar. Now, now, uh, verb, adjective, adjectives, uh, adverbs. Okay. Nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Thank you. Hi. Also, Shana Echo Jamla. Malek. I can hear him. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Malek. Uh, nouns, uh, verbs, adject adjectives, uh, adverbs. Mm -hmm. Adverbs. Yes. Lina. Yes, Lina. Noun, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, uh, interpretation. Uh, yeah, all, all of them. Okay, so all of them. Very good. Thank you, Lina. Interjection also is a part of a phrase. Okay, like I say, wow. Hey, okay. Conjunction is also a part of a phrase. With, and, but. Okay, so this is for question one. Good. I move to question two. Check if it is true or false. Okay, so you will tick only the true answer. You will tick if it is true. So is is used with the pronouns they, we, and you. Are is used with the pronouns they, we, and you. Which one is correct in these two sentences? Is it the first or the second? So, mm hmm Anyone who would like to speak? Yes. One of them. Um, Abra. Mm -hmm. Yes, Abra. Uh, is uh, is uh, is it with the pronoun the we you uh, false? The first one is false. Very good. So this is correct. Thank you, Abra. Very good. The second one is correct. Very good. Well done. Okay, I move to question number three. She, okay, so sorry, I read the question. Choose the correct answer. You tick the correct phrases. Okay, you have here some correct phrases and some incorrect. So, she drinks much coffee. She drinks many coffee. How many balloons does Kim buy? How much balloons does Kim buy? How much chocolate do you need to prepare cake? How many?